Vancouver Canucks prospects at the Young Stars Classic hit the ice in Penticton on Thursday. It was the first time they assembled as a team before games this weekend. Now in its eighth year, the Young Stars is scaled back this time around. Each team plays only two games when they've each played three and four in the past. And most notably, there's only two NHL teams compared to four a year ago. The Edmonton Oilers and Calgary Flames prospects are playing a game of their own in Red Deer. Penticton Mayor Andrew Jacobite is also the tournament's chair, and he says he believes those teams will be back. We're very optimistic they'll, they'll return because, you know, here was uh, a three-game series uh, and really an opportunity in a, in a real game environment to test your prospects and see where they fit in the depth chart and see how they fit amongst the peers. There's fewer NHL prospects to watch at this year's tournament, but there's more of a buzz around the Canucks team of prospects than ever before. In fact, many are saying this year's Canucks team is the best they've ever assembled at the Young Stars. Some of the big name prospects to watch include Elias Pettersson, Jonathan Dahlin, and former Kelowna Rocket Cole Lind. With fewer games at this year's tournament, Jacobite says there will be less economic activity, but he says the city has prepared for that accordingly. We just scale back the expenses accordingly. So, you know, as an, from an event standpoint, uh, it'll still be a good, a good event for the city. Um, both from economically from hosting it and just the exposure. Along with the Canucks and Winnipeg Jets prospects, the University of BC and University of Alberta hockey teams will play two games each during the weekend. For Castanet News, I'm Colton Davies in Penticton.